Hey guys, my name is Cole McClarty at McClarty Films. Today I want to introduce you to a brand new 8K VR camera called the Pilot Era. It's, um, that's right, 8K and it does real-time stitching. I had the opportunity to take it with me recently to Hawaii and I want to show you some of the, just the highlights and the, and the, um, the features that this camera packs into this small package. As you can see, the camera is about the size of my hand. This camera has an internal GPS so you, it's great for Google Street View and um, virtual tours. It pinpoints exactly where the photo is taken. Log into your Google account and automatically, with the push of a button, upload. You can automatically, with the push of a button, upload to your Google Street View account and and post live that way, which is super convenient and much easier workflow than what I was used to with other cameras. The camera has some amazing features that you don't find in a camera at this size or this value. So its real strength is uh, in video where it can shoot up to 8K video and does real-time stitching. You can shoot um, slightly higher rates um, if you don't do real-time but um, and then that takes, so if you shoot a minute it takes about one minute to render these have puzzle pieces, so those pieces, that means it's not stitched, so what you do, oops, go back here, is you hit this, and then you hit the stitch button, and then it will say, start stitching. It's only at 5%. You can exit out of there, and it will render in the background. Uh, the first thing that you might notice that's different from most cameras you've worked with in the past is that it has this amazing 3-inch touch screen. A lot of times you can just use the camera alone without even using the app um, through, your, through your mobile. Another thing that's cool is the camera has ambisonic sound, so it has four microphones, one um, above each of the four lenses. Another cool feature is the live stream, and what you can do is you can go in on the camera and you can enter, like say your Facebook account, log in. And it's a one-time setup and then after that it's very quick and easy. Another cool thing is the HDR mode which will um, bracket the exposure uh, plus or minus your, your standard exposure. You can select that and then um, stitches it and it's very quick. It takes probably like 10 seconds to stitch. Go here and adjust the exposure here. So one stop under, two stops. This. And this is useful in some um, situations like here. Usually when I use the HDR, I usually try and um, expose for the highlights. And then when you do the HDR, um, I've got a 10 second countdown to minimize wobble on the stand. But um, then you should have a nice exposure. You have a little bracket and take three exposures, as you can see. This is how long it takes to do. It's pretty quick. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Okay. So, and then you're here to see our results. And that's our nice HDR picture. The Pilot Era comes with an internal storage of 512 gigs. You can also shoot to card if you need to, but for the video function, um, you need to shoot that to the internal storage. The camera sells for $2,600, which is a step up from consumer grade cameras, but is a great value compared to other pro cameras. If you want to see some of the clips that I shot in Hawaii, 
um, look down and then below links. I'm trying to build a, up a YouTube channel, so I'm creating more content like this. Uh, if you find this useful, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel. It's McClarty Films, YouTube slash McClarty Films. And um, I'll be producing more stuff like this with VR cameras, 360 cameras, and a lot of um, mobile devices. The camera also comes with this base plate, and the base plate connects into the USB Type-C port, and it also, you can power the device, so you have USB here input, USB Type-C, and also an Ethernet port for going live and higher um, data transfer speeds. And then here, you also have a slot for a SIM card, so if you want to um, upload via 4G. This camera has the highest quality image of any VR camera that I've used so far. The video quality at 8K is spectacular. You have to wear a VR headset to appreciate it, of course. And also, it is a huge time saver because the camera renders, the camera um, does real-time stitching, and even if you select the slightly higher frame rate um, where it, it, you, you stitch after you shoot, um, it's still very quick, so if you shoot one minute, it renders in one minute. So the camera just saves a ton of time on post-production, and image quality is so high, you don't really have to do much to the image, it's, it's just done.